So that tune is very familiar, and had we not sung the song prior to me playing the first piece, you would recognize the tune, right? You would know it was what I was playing. But maybe some of the other organ pieces, maybe you're not so familiar with the tune. But going back to 1400, 1500, 1600, 1700, all of these people that were hearing the organ music, they all knew the songs. They all, most of the tunes have been around for a hundred or a couple hundred years. And so when the organist used these tunes and created these pieces, and today you see them with German titles and they don't mean much to you, uh, they were very familiar. Look at hymn number 105. And in, in our hymn book, this is the text, O Morning Star, but the, the German translates how brightly shines the morning star. And um, I didn't find any modern hymn books that had that title anymore, or how brightly beams the morning star, and, or how bright something. They ch kept changing the words, as you, as you know that's happened. <coughs> A lot of the hymn books, words have changed. But this, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. This is a, a typical Christmas song. And if, um, if you look down at the bottom of the page, this was written in 1599 or thereabouts by Philip Nikolai. And other composers use this tune. Bach used it. Uh, Books of Huda, uh, Pachelbel, all these different composers use this tune to create pieces. So let's just sing one verse, and then I'm going to play a. Um, I'm going to tell you something else before I play the variation. But let's uh, sing this and get the tune in your mind.
So it's played in this elongated version. So you're going to get distracted and you're going to forget that you're hearing the melody. And there are going to be fragments of the melody played above it as it's on accompaniment. But if you concentrate, you will hear that melody. So that's why I wanted you to sing the song so you would know sort of what the melody is and then listen.